In this video, we are going to understand about indicators or dye in the concept context of acid bases. Now, you know, chemical compound can be broken down into four categories. An acid, a base, a salt, and let's say others. Others will contain a large amount of numbers which can be neither acid nor base nor salt. Okay? Now salt is something which we see in our daily life. For your cooking, the mother uses table salt. Okay? Acid. Now, our body also produces lots of acids. One of the common one being hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is basically used for digestion of food. Okay? And then there could be certain base. Bases like baking soda, which is used for making breads. And then there could be others as well. Now coming back, indicators or dye are basically certain things which tell us whether a particular object is an acid or it is a base. Okay, so an indicator changes color okay, when put into a base or acid. Now this change of color, you know, will tell us whether a particular item is an acid or it is a base. Different items react differently to different indicators. Okay? So by change of color, we can identify whether a particular thing, whether a particular chemical compound is an acid or a base. Now these indicators are basically classified again into two categories. This was the classification of chemical compounds. Indicators are also classified into two categories. Okay, one are the natural indicators and the other one are synthetic. Synthetic is something which is used to denote what has been developed by mankind. So in the category of natural indicators, you have something like litmus, you have turmeric, and say for synthetic indicators, I'll just give you an example of phenol phenolphthalein. Now how and what do these do is something which we are going to see in detail when we study about each one of them in details. So just to summarize, an indicator or a dye is something which is used to test whether a particular compound is an acid or a base. Different chemical compounds react differently to the indicators and bases that one can identify whether it's a particular case is an acid or a base. Indicators again are of two types. One are the natural indicators, something like a litmus or a turmeric and these others are basically synthetic indicators, something like a phenolphthalein. 